How's it going everyone? This is Mark with App Tech, and in this video, I wanna show you how you can customize some of the settings on the Apple Pencil. This applies to both the first and the second generation Apple Pencil, and it's independent of which iPad model you have as well. I'll tell you how to customize the tabs on this device, as well as some of the functionality in other apps. So let's go ahead and get started with the double tapping of it on the second generation Apple Pencil. So with it connected to our iPad, we'll go into settings and you'll see a brand new section down here called Apple Pencil. From here, we'll be able to customize the double taps on the side of the pencil and change its functionality. Currently, it defaults to double tapping to, be, to switch between the current tool and the eraser. You can also change it to switch between the current tool and the previous tool. And you can also switch between colors. This will open up the color palette. You can also disable it if you want. From here, we can see the battery of the Apple Pencil and you can view the regulatory information. So let me go ahead and open up an app. I'll open up Notability. We'll go ahead and make a new note in here. And I will just go ahead and scribble right there. And then double tapping on the Apple Pencil brings up the eraser, which I can then go ahead and erase with. Now, if I go back to settings and we can change this to switch between the current tool and the previous tool, I will select my pen, I'll scribble on there, I'll tap the cut tool, I'll select that, and then if I double tap it, it'll go back to the pen tool, and I double tap it again, and it will go back to the cut tool, so it won't go to the eraser. So that is the settings that you can customize with the double tapping on the Apple Pencil second generation. Now, with the iPad locked, you take your Apple Pencil, you tap on the screen, and it will go ahead and open up the Notes app right away. So if you don't like that and you don't want that to happen, we'll go ahead into Settings, and then we'll go down to Notes. And then at the bottom, there are two options. There are Access Notes from Lock Screen, so we can turn that on and off. And we can also choose what happens when you um, wake up the iPad with the Apple Pencil. We can resume our last note viewed, resume the NAS note created on the lock screen, or we can turn it off. I don't like that, so I'll turn it off. You know, another option which you want to probably enable, which I have, is only draw with Apple Pencil. This is similar to how it works in Notability. So if I draw with the Apple Pencil, I can use my finger to scroll. My finger won't act as another form of input. It's only the Apple Pencil that will draw on the screen. So you're probably gonna want to enable that. So with that enabled, again, it works like how it does in Notability. You draw off the Apple Pencil, use your finger to scroll. You won't have any marks from your finger. And the last thing I wanna show you is in Notability. If we go ahead and tap on the pen, you can see the option that says Disconnect Apple Pencil. This is um, how you dis disconnect it and you can go back to using your finger as drawing rather than the Apple Pencil. And then if you ever have any connection issues, you can go into Bluetooth, and as you can see, we have Apple Pencil, and we can go ahead and forget this device if you want to reconnect it. And then, again, to connect it again, if you have a second generation Apple Pencil, you dock it on the top of your iPad, and it will then connect, or you plug it into the Lightning port on other previous iPad models. So there you go, that is how you customize some of the settings on your Apple Pencil. There's not a ton that you can do, but luckily with the second generation Apple Pencil, you can do even more and you can customize it more to how you like it. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.